adopted. February was concert illustrations, and March is something even cooler, I feel like. I've always wanted to do something crazy and something outside the box, so I decided that March would be posters. Now, what I'm about to show you is... Uh, airplane's in the way. <laughs> what I'm about to show you guys is the pictures I'm about to be shading for the March series entitled Roaring Twenties. Uh, so give me one second. <sighs> Open my book. Each picture in this book captures something I really like and it's something I'm gonna kinda sit and explain to you guys so you guys feel like you guys get a little behind the scenes action of me join the series. Attached with this video, there's going to be a separate video that I'm going to be making of me showing you the pictures separate with no like words. And then there's going to be a final, uh, another video I did of like the planning behind making it. So, yeah. I'm going to move the plate for a second. All right. So the first picture here is of a couple, a man and a woman, and. I chose this picture because of the idea of just how society was and the idea of the fashion and how they dressed. It was very important for me to get that because if I'm drawing photographs from a time period, I wanted to have that be a really big part of it. Next up, we got a little self-portrait of Charlie Chaplin. Is that his name? That's his name, Charlie Chaplin. And he was a really big entertainer at the time. He was known for his comedic, silent act. And I thought this would be a perfect kind of thing to have. I know right now it's kind of light, some of these are, but like I said, I'm going to fully shade these. So I have to give you a little introduction to the series. The third one, one of my favorite pictures in this. It's a picture of a little girl getting her teeth pulled by a grandmother. Now, this picture to me, <laughs> you can ask anyone, man. I talk so highly of this picture. I think it is fantastic. And I'm gonna rotate so you can see it all, but I did the background and everything in this one. I think it's kind of like showing the old ways, which I thought was a really fun approach and the idea of showing like pulling teeth with the pliers and I, I don't know why I'm so drawn to that picture but so drawn to that it's crazy the next picture we got is these kids pulling on a rope now this one I like a lot because with this picture you see kids outside playing and a lot of of times now I've noticed a lot of kids are more prone to technology and when I chose this third picture or fourth picture I wanted to get it something that screamed hanging out with friends and maybe because now you see like with the technology if you look at the outfits again the shorts being the way they are it's definitely a picture that really gave me a lot of feeling towards drawing it. And I was really excited because you look at these faces and they're very excited and just out there having fun. So that was that one. The next we got, of course, you know, what every person kind of needs. You got these three ladies getting dressed up, having fun, talking, socializing. This one is a really cool one. I love the idea that there are headbands and that you see like a bunch of the, if you look closely, because they're not shaded yet, there's a bunch of just different, again, nods to the styling of the time period. And I just love the way it's just so innocent, but it's kind of innocent yet elegant at the same time. And what's cool is that it's not like dirty. Like I think you see a lot of these pictures of like women in like lingerie and stuff and you think, oh, that's dirty, that's whatever. This has a very much different approach to it, where they're just being girls, getting ready, probably into a party. 
the next one is a picture of two guys who are on the Yankees. Now this picture, I chose it because I love the Yankees one. Um, I'm a huge Yankees fan. And when I saw that this picture crossed my path, I was like, this is perfect. I could draw a team I've loved for years, right? But in an older time, like, and if you look closely at their jackets, it has this NY logo with his NY on it. And that's interesting to me because there's, it just looks very simple. Okay. This next picture is something, it won't make a lot of sense now because it's not shaded again. But like I said, I'm here to walk you through it. We got this picture right here. It's a, a woman with a baby. Now, what's cool about this picture, what drew me to it, was I found this picture of this black woman walking a baby. And the baby's not black, so it's kind of like the approach. And if you look right here, you see a little woman, a woman looking back on like, whoa, what's happening? And I thought it was kind of cool for the idea of, I made a video and this chair squeaks so much, it's the worst. Uh, and <laughs> Sorry, sidebar. And I liked it because not just the idea of like, oh, black and white. I liked the approach of how it looks so normal and it looks like a common, almost everyday picture, you know? And I, I, was, I was really fucking with it. Freaking with it. I'm sorry, I can't curse on this video. This next one was a bit of a challenge for me, but we got it done, boys. Okay, we have seven kids playing basketball, and this one was a really fun one to draw. I loved this one, not because it's like, oh, I had to include sports. I chose it because, again, like the kids playing Tug of War, this one has a bit of a feel to it. So now you see them, you see them having fun, they have different heights, and they're like, they're a team, they're a basketball team. And when I was choosing it, I thought they were boxing. <laughs> I literally thought that this was a picture of them boxing in the gym. And I was like, that has to be drawn. But now that I look at it, I kind of, I'm still loving the idea of it being that of a team. And the challenge of myself to draw that was crazy. I did that like 12 in the morning to like 4 a.m. Definitely, definitely intense. All right, so this next one, we got two gentlemen. I love this dude's facial hair. I had to draw it because I saw his facial hair, but they're out and about, probably at the office or whatever, and they just probably love to get a quick picture. I like this one a lot because it has the idea, again, of the styling of it. And if you look at the ties, they're very just like, the collars and the shirts are a lot bigger here. And the ties are just like these big, like bulky kind of ties, which I was like, that's, that's fun, you know? That's not fun, I don't know what's fun. The final one, because like this series, I wanted to include more of an overall sense. But I also wanted to include other like races and other things because I felt like the last series I did was a bunch of just like, not to even be, you know, racist or whatever, but a bunch of just like white people. And they're not the only people in this world. <laughs> I know that. And I wanted, when I did the 20s, I was looking for pictures that really caught my eye. This picture is probably one of the most Significant, I feel like, because for me, this was something I saw as interesting. So for this one, we got a little Asian boy and a white kid, Asian and white together. When I shade it, again, you'll see the difference, but they're just innocently eating lunch. Now, there's a bunch of other people in this picture that I could have drawn. And the reason why I chose to make it so close up is because I wanted to highlight the fact that these two kids like he's hugging him like if you don't if you can't tell his head is on his like shoulder and they're like 
friends. And I like the idea of friendship. When I initially was thinking of what series I was going to draw, the reason why I, I ended up choosing the 20s, and I wanted to just take a little time to talk about this too, is because I felt like the 20s were this awesome time. And my favorite author, F. Scott Fitzgerald, writes a lot of books in the 20s. And, you know, as a guy who, I love his books. Like, I've, I read his books. I'm reading his books. And The Great Gatsby and stuff like that. And I loved the time period as a whole. I felt like it was so iconic and just, it started so many cool things. Styles and styles, music, all that stuff. It was a beacon almost. And I wanted to get that in a series because I felt like that needed to be captured by me. As of late, I've just been feeling like I want to do more with art and when I shade them I'm gonna give you an updated thing of course but it's gonna it's gonna be so rewarding for me the other big news is each of these pieces I am selling so if you're watching this video and you're interested in one of the pieces in this series please let me know I will definitely definitely get to you and let you know what's going on with that. I could even send you some of the reference photos uh, towards what I was drawn from. But yeah, uh, the March series, guys, is called The Roaring Twenties. And according to my calendar, as you see in my little <laughs> crazy calendar, we're going to start posting this on March 22nd. So, basically, in about two weeks, you'll probably, from two weeks from now, me recording this video, so you guys can get to know me better. And that's why, from now, every time I do a series, I'm going to do a little intro video to why I chose it. Stuff like that. So, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And, you know, share it to your friends. You know, if you know a friend who's an artist... Why not?